I've explained to you the idea of how you do XML, just as a set of names that you, um, that you organize to describe a certain context or a certain information context. Now let's talk in much more practical terms about how people actually write XML. So you'll see a series of, um, a series of images on your screen here, and let me describe each one and tell you how that's an authoring environment for XML. Now, we're not going to use, or actually we'll, we will use one of these, but most of these we won't use, and, and um, uh, it will be up to you as you move forward in XML to, um, to decide when and where you want to use these. What I'll do right now is just introduce them to you as a, as a way of doing XML. Okay, first of all, one that I haven't showed here is simply opening any text editor and starting to type, starting to type tag names and starting to, to just literally type in your XML. Um, that's way less interesting than what we're going to use. And what we'll use is the picture is in picture number one here. And that's a, an application called um, Oxygen. And Oxygen is an IDE, an in integrated design environment for XML. In other words, it provides all the tools you need in order to do XML um, properly, in order to do XML in a good way. And you'll see that it shows you all the tags and has color coding. And we'll get into a tremendous amount of detail about how you use Oxygen as we move forward in the class. But for now, you can, you can see that it's, um, uh, that it's, or all you need to know is that it's a, a complete environment for doing XML. Moving, moving to the next one, we have another XML environment called XML Spy. And XML Spy is uh, equivalent, really, to um, Oxygen. It's not what we're going to be using in this class, but it is, um, it is uh, a, a good one as well. I've used it in the past. But it's showing a slightly different view of XML here. In other, in, 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 uh, in, in, excuse me, rather than showing the tags, it shows formatted text, but it's formatted text inside the integrated design environment and it allows you to, um, uh, to work with XML without having to see the tags. Not very useful to us, but sometimes to uh, people who are more like end users, that's uh, a better way to do it. Now we're going to go up one notch in terms of making things simple for end users and look at a tool called XMetal. And XMetal has the advantage that it, that it lays out um, information in a WYSIWYG sort of way. So you can see that it's trying to emulate sort of a word processing environment and giving you tools like you might have inside of Microsoft Word, for example, and, and hiding, in fact, the fact that it's um, XML at all. Instead, formatting those tags. And, and um, if you're interested, the, reason, the way that these tags are formatted is actually with CSS. Um, but we format the tags so that, um, uh, so that an end user doesn't really have to deal with the XML. Okay, then we have um, Microsoft Word here, and you may or may not know this, but, X, but Microsoft Word is also capable of editing XML files. And inside of Microsoft Word, you can, um, you can view an XML file, and if you view an XML file, it'll look like this. It has little markers for the, um, little markers for the tags and little places where you type the content of the tag. You can see on the right-hand side of the screen here, it has a little outline of all the tags with um, tags inside of other tags. Okay, the last one that I want to show you here is a web form. And this web form is also an XML interface, but it's an XML interface that allows you to type just into a form on the web. And then when you save that form on the web, it goes immediately into an XML instance file. And you can see here that we have location, department division, requisition, and then an interesting field that actually has um, formatted content inside it. You can see there's a paragraph there and a bullet list. Um, the, the forms on the web that you can use with XML allow you not only to create um, not only to just have blanks that you fill in, but also to give you some tools for creating formatted, uh, formatted content inside of an XML file. Okay, so those are some various views of how you do, um, how, you, how in the real world we type XML in. Um, as I said, we'll be using the Oxygen environment, and um, these other ones are for your, uh, uh, just for your interest right now to know how it's done otherwise.